Good morning, Marge. Good morning. Marge Dio. Yes. Yes. One of our special co-workers, one of our hospitality co-workers, who, uh, why don't you tell us where you do your ministry here on campus? I um, do everywhere at the front desk. Yes. I, at um, which building? At the uh, Dominican Life Center, okay. the right on the side. Mm -hmm. The yes. life of the campus. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, and then the eyes, the ears, and the vision of the sisters. Front and back. you're very kind and considerate and compassionate with our women. Thank you. Uh, many of our residents who come by there in various stages of their life, and mm -hmm. you're always, you're a delight to see there at the campus. How did you uh, hear about the Aiden Dominicans or Dominican Life Center? Uh, well, I knew about the Aiden Dominicans for many years. I grew up right down the street off of Broad Street, so, and I was born and raised Catholic, and so I've always known about um, the campus and stuff, but as far as um, the job, I had a previous job before and um, on Facebook, I was looking through Facebook and there was, someone had sent me a request for, for I don't know if it's like here or whatever, and there was a job opening. So and what I applied, was the, what was the that? job opening was for in food service. Okay. And I'd worked in the restaurant business for quite a few years, so I applied and got the job. And, and we are, which kitchen? Murray Kitchen. I started part-time Murray Kitchen and then um, when there was an opening for the front desk, I applied and got the position. So what did you do in the Maria kitchen? Oh, a little bit of everything, did whatever needed to be done. I did the dining room and service sisters in the Regina Cafe, did dishes oh, and okay. whatever needed to be done. So how long did you do that? I was like eight months. Okay. And then I got, um, in January, I got, a year ago, I got hired um, at the front desk. The receptionist. So, and, and you like that? I do. Yeah. I do. You're out where the action is. I do. It Good is. Morning, noon, and then you get to talk and yes. you get to socialize and mm -hmm. be friendly with everybody and, and get to see the are. action. And, and you know, you um, it's fun because everybody's different. No, mm -hmm. no two people are the same. So, That's, what did you do before you came to campus? You um, I worked at the country club and the restaurant business for years. Oh. So I saw I service people been in the restaurant for many, many years and so mm -hmm. always been around people and you're talking. A, you're a people person. <laughs> we don't want to keep you in the kitchen. No. <laughs> well, I like to find in the kitchen because you get to socialize with the sisters the, yeah. dinner time, but you know, uh -huh. you're a little more rushed maybe mm -hmm. so than at the front desk mm -hmm. or you know, in the lobby and wherever. So what What about your life? Where do you, your family, and where did you, you said you grew up here in Adrian. Yeah, I married and I have two children. Um, I have a son and a daughter. Been married for 32, 33 mm -hmm. years, excuse me. Oh, forget how many years I've been married. We say 66 is a joke because 33 for me and 33 for Bill, so that's kind of our laughing part. Oh, cute. <laughs> You gotta have humor. Good, good. I mean, you're getting, you know, you're getting up in there. You say the ages, or he says the ages. So, but anyway, so. So you've been married for sixty six years. Sixty six years great. between the two. Yes, <laughs> yes, and I'm not even sixty six yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we know you got to make a laugh about it. That's what you know. Life's about and a laugh. Some and where do times. your kids live? Uh, Robert lives in Downers Grove, Illinois. Oh. And Rachel's from a and lives in Adrian. Okay. Robert went to Siena and Rachel went to Adrian College. So. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. They were, um, they're just a year apart, so they got to be rivals, and it was kind of a fun, fun rival. Mm -hmm. so, so you quit the uh, the country club mm -hmm. and came to another country club. Yep. <laughs> to the campus of the Asian Dominican yep. Sisters. Okay. It's been it's been a wonderful move. Mm -hmm. I'm very blessed and mm -hmm. very very blessed, I should say. So. Do you have any? Uh, You've been through a few. You were here for chapter last year? No, mm -hmm. no. Oh, you were here at the yep. time for chapter. Yep. So you haven't been here long enough to see what uh, things you'd like to, you had trouble letting go of and accepting them, some new new things. Is there anything you'd like to see different here at the Dominican Life Center? Um, no, nothing that I can, you know, really say. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you have your ideas or whatever, but, you know, you have to realize what the vision's about. Mm -hmm. You know, put it everything in perspective. 
and it is. But you if know. you have good suggestions, never hesitate to give no. them to somebody because, right. you know, uh, out there, there's lots of suggestions, and you can kind of just get in a in a rut with doing the same thing. So. Um, but it changes up there all the time because good. every time somebody says it's quiet, I say, oh, don't say that. Because mm -hmm. then it gets really, it gets really right. busy and noisy. But that's what it's about, and that's what you want them to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's mm -hmm. their to them. It's I call it their social hour out in the in the lobby with mm -hmm. everyone. And and you really are the face of the Adrian Dominican Sisters too, as you sit at the desk. It's not just sitting at the desk and answering the phone. That is hospitality par excellence because the image of us is is what you portray. You're the first person that people hear on the phone perhaps, mm -hmm. or that they meet in our families, yes. they're significant yep. to our families. But I have learned that you have to watch watch around out to, to the courtyard, you know, the front, who's parking, who's wherever, right. who's coming, who's going. You know, um, I didn't realize I can really hear that well, but I really hear excellent because you do need to hear things, so it's, you know, what's going on. You right. know, you need to be their eyes right. also. What you know. part of your, uh, ministry here, your job, do you most like? You do a lot of things at that front desk. Um, what delights you the most? When I can make someone laugh and mm -hmm. I can make a sister laugh and mm -hmm. have, you know, have the humor, see the humor in it because, you know, they're just like, every, we're all the same, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. God brought us all on earth together, so. And so if you can make someone laugh and at least make their day in some sense. That's all As, worth it. Aside from your work here on campus, what do you do for fun? I um, volunteer at the Legion. I help with the veterans, um, different veterans oh. projects. I help with um, rescue animals. I like to do a lot of crafts. I like to garden. I like to cook. Very Just go out and have creative. Fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. A well, lot of things. I do probably more than what I even realize I do. I like to... Um, make things for people, put a smile on someone's face. Mm -hmm. When I cook, I think I'm cooking for 50 people instead of two or four, and, but I just pass the food along and share it with everybody. Mm. If it puts a smile Where do you on live again? I live just in Clayton. Kidding. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring it here. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, and I, you know, that's just how I was, I born and raised, that was my mother was like that a lot, so, mm -hmm. you know, and then we always had dinners or whatever, we never knew who was gonna be there because she invited anybody who needed mm -hmm. a place to go, and that's kind of how we are. Mm -hmm. My husband and I will help someone in need, you know, whether they need their yard mm -hmm. mowed or shoveled or just something, kind of a generosity, hope that someday it returns to yourself, I guess. So, When we have sisters that come here, and they're either from, I don't even want to say from another faraway state, because, you know, you can come from across campus, and when you end up at the Dominican Life Center, right. it's hard, it's hard for them. So that's another important thing, particularly those that come from a distance or from Detroit or someplace, and they know they're mm -hmm. going to be here, you know, for their days, the remaining days. You're a delight to see at the desk and welcoming them. Thank you. Yeah, it's so, it's so important, that position. I just can't tell you. I think they've got the right one out oh, there. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. you. And I hope you never take vacation. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you need them just for I fun. I know you do. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is nice. To, um, you know, you do want to make them feel because you hope it. You know, they're you become their friend. Do you ever have a bad day? You always have a smile on your face. If I do, I um, I'm pretty good about covering. I don't usually have bad days. I usually could just brush it off. Uh -huh. You know, I just I just take it a stride and go with the flow. Mm -hmm. I don't usually get too whacked about stuff. It's probably if I get whacked about anything, it's probably something when I'm doing a party. Oh. For someone, I get kind of yeah. a little anal about that, but so you do parties? Yeah, I do. Um, sometimes I do catering for family or friends. You know, I've always um, planned all the graduation birthday parties for the families, and they just call me the um, March in charge the planning party. March in charge, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So my son-in-law calls me March in charge the mother-in-law. <laughs> I take it as a compliment because yeah. I tell them that I must have got, I must have embraced that well. My mother did did me well because she was just kind of the same that when it, we had parties, she was always the one that everybody went to. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what's your favorite thing that you like to cook? 
My favorite thing is probably cheese potatoes. Oh, delicious. Calorie free, of course. Plus, <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> they're all free. <laughs> not. No, I know. Yeah. Not. I do have a, com a combination of things, and I like to make um, candy, chocolate covered peanuts and almonds. Oh a lot gosh. of sisters here have had those, so. We're going to have to stop this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you are just filled with ideas and creativity. And we've got you stuck behind that desk. That's right. <laughs> I can share my creativity anytime. Where do you like to go on vacation? Um, I, live with, I like um, just anywhere. I'm not, you know, there's no particular place. I like to go to different baseball parks, different cities, big cities. I like to go to the bigger cities. You know, a little different action or whatever. I don't have to be down the beaches or whatever. So, somewhere where you can have fun and people you're fun and have fun with. So you've been to the city of Detroit? Yes, many you, times. You, you like Detroit? I do. Good. I do. Good. It is a fun city. Downtown. Chicago's a fun city, yeah, and Detroit. yeah, a lot of mm -hmm. those are. Mm -hmm. L.A. and San Francisco. Yes. You've been to all those places? Yep. Oh goodness. Well, we're just glad you sit at that front desk and welcome us to the Dominican Life Center. Thank you. And that you're a part of our ministry, the Asian Dominicans. And we, as a congregation, thank you for your service to our women, to our public, to our co-workers, to everything. You are an absolute gift and delight here on this campus. And I'm free for dinner anytime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know you. what you like. Thank you, Marge. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I'm very blessed.